Hi, this is Janos. This is Real World Audio. Happy New Year. It's my first video that I'm making this year. And it's the long awaited video for the dimensions for the La Grande loudspeaker build, which is the uh, big sister to the Le Petit brother, uh, the big one and the small one. And uh, actually, both of them are kind of small speakers. And uh, and, and here we go. I'm looking at my notes because I made some drawings and with, with, with the, the, the dimensions. So I'm going to show you the dimensions for La Grande, the big one. And uh, here we are. Uh, as you see, the width of the cabinet, this is the internal dimension. So you can use your own wood that you can get and uh, depending on the thickness the outside dimensions might be different but uh, from one to another depending on the thickness you use but here we go uh, what is important is not the outside but the inside so the inside width is 34.6 centimeters the inside height is 61.6 centimeters and the inside depth of the speaker cabinet is 20.6 centimeters and how do you place the driver you place it equal distance from the three internal sides so 17.3 centimeters from one side 17.3 from the other and 17.3 from the top so those are the basic dimensions and uh, and now here we see the uh, the construction of the side panels the top and the bottom and there is the slot port so that that's how they look like so basically the top is sitting on top of the side panels the bottom is in between and on, on this side and that side there is there is a space Bet so the bottom is not uh, continuous to the side panel it's a separate panel so it will be held to the front and to the back but there is no physical connection between the bottom and the sides and the bottom, uh, so actually first, let's, let's just step back. So for the sides and the top and the port and the bottom, all of these you want to use uh, three quarter inch solid wood. And you can use oak or uh, walnut or pine, anything. You can want, uh, you can choose either a harder or a softer wood. It's totally your choice. If you use pine, it will be the most active. Then the cabinet will be uh, most uh, dynamic. Uh, if you use spruce, then it would be even nicer. That's the ideal version to use uh, spruce for that material. But that can be prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. And the cheapest one that you can use is pine if you can get it with insufficient quality uh, whichever you choose do not use a uh, wet wood just use uh, something that's properly dried and if in the store you can get only something that's that's really uh, moist then just buy it and uh, put it in your garage or living room or something and let it dry for a few weeks and then uh, once it dries then uh, then use it because if you cut it while it's still wet then it will warp and deform and you don't want to do that now ideally instrument makers wait several decades for the spruce to dry before they use it to make instrument if you want to do that just buy, spru buy spruce now and wait three decades and then be a black run <laughs> that will be the best version but uh, if not just get something now if it feels dry enough, light enough, then use it. If not, just wait a, a few weeks until it dries. Probably that's the only thing that you will be able to do for now. 
So use that uh, three quarter inch uh, solid wood or if you are in Europe, uh, 19 to 20 millimeters, that's the size that's equivalent that you can get. And uh, use that for the side walls top and uh, the port slot panels. And for the bottom, use the same thing, but it's three layers, one, two, three, and just glue them together. So you will be using three layers plus a piece of the port material on top of it. And, uh, and that is to create a, a longer port. So we want to create a longer port for the port length, but on the inside we want, don't want to keep it that long. Uh, so, so that's it. And then you add the front and the back, and the front and the back, that is plywood that's half inch uh, thick plywood and uh, and you can use whatever plywood that you can get maple ply poplar or baltic birch you can use baltic birch if you can get it but it will be very expensive uh, mine i made them with poplar ply that's probably one of the cheapest ones and uh, why i did it that's because uh, for my build I did not want to build something that ah, I can build it like that. I built it in a way that everyone can build it like that. So uh, if you can just find poplar, fine, do it. And if you can find just pine, you can find spruce, you can't afford oak or walnut. Pine will be the cheapest solid wood, then just get pine. So mine is pine and poplar plywood. And, uh, and my pine was kind of wet and soggy when I got it. And, uh, and I think I was drying it uh, in the garage for about two weeks. And, and it, it dried up pretty, pretty well. But uh, not perfectly well. And during the cutting, it, it did change. They, they warped a little bit and that caused a little bit of complications. I will show that and talk about that in much detail when I uh, share the videos of how to make them, how I made them. Because I took about, I don't know, maybe like 10 hours of videos, something like that. It's just insane. So I will be spending a lot of time editing and narrating those videos. <laughs> and it will probably, they just uh, keep on coming for the next month or so. So you can walk through the deluxe build and now, uh, for those of you who don't want to do that complexity, uh, just think about uh, this plan that I just shared. This is what I call, uh, if it focuses that, La Grande basic build. So this is the basic version. And it can get much more complicated, but the, the, the roughly even the complex version or refined or I would say refined version it's still the same loudspeaker it uses the same principles uh, as as the basic build does just uh, you we refine it certain things get more refined so you will need more elaborate tooling for that and much more time so if you build this basic version the way I've shown so basically those walls just cut down these pieces of wood and then uh, drill them together with brass screws uh, hold them together uh, glue together the the three flat pieces for the base and glue on the side walls make sure that they stay perpendicular and then screw on the front screw on the back cut the hole for the driver stick the driver on from the front up and uh, put in some internal cabling and you are done. That's it. You can do it in, in an afternoon. So the basic build, if you're an intermediate builder, it will be done in the afternoon. If you're a beginner, it might be, might, it will take you probably a whole day or maybe a two, two days if, if you have very basic tools and you have to do a lot of uh, um, post-cut work for messed up things. But even in a worst case scenario, you can do it in two days. Uh, if you are a total beginner, if this is your first loudspeaker project, it won't take longer than that. And if you go that route that I took, which is the 
most complex build or actually we could make it even more complex i will share it and and some of you who are master builders who have good really good skills craftsmanship skills woodwork skills you can do even more than what i did and when i show the videos i will show and talk about what you can do more than what i did and i would be just really curious to 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 see and and uh, and uh, hear those speakers that were done that way but uh, by no means you don't need to do that for them to to have good sound out of them the more elaboration you put in them it will uh, come up in mostly in in classical music so if you are for example listening to violin the tone of the violin will be uh, with the most refined versions noticeably quite a bit better than for a basic build but if you are listening to let's say watching movies or listening to jazz and pop music then there won't be a, a night and day difference between the two so if you a b them yeah you will hear it but if one day you listen to one next day you listen to the other probably you won't be able to tell any difference between them so so that's it about the build complexities and and as i said if you don't listen to to classical music you probably that's all you need the basic build you don't need to put in more time for that build uh, although i have to say that as as the build gets more refined uh, it's get more it gets more and more live and it gets more and more dynamic so so the fully refined full uh, version will have a few db higher sensitivity than the uh, basic build um, but apart from that it's uh, if, if this is your first project go with the basic one don't over complicate it because it, it will be just extremely frustrating only go for most complex builds if you are really experienced woodworker and this is not your first audio and that one uh, the plan for that i'm not sharing yet that uh, yet because i'm going to go into quite a bit of detail that how far you want to take it and why do you want it and what are the options and and it's kind of pointless to just throw the plans at you and then you just build it without knowing what you are doing i i don't want to you know put a bowl of soup on your table i want you to be able to cook that soup and and know <laughs> what you are cooking that's that that's really what i'm giving to you and i don't think of my la grande project as as just another loudspeaker build project you know to give one more there's like probably a thousand or more out there that you can find in the diy community speaker projects to build it's like you can uh, you know there's there's more of them out there than anything else i can think of it's just tremendous so so why another one so just to give another one i wouldn't have given an, an another another one i would have just said okay just build le petit i am giving this now basic version for the most beginner and if you want to take it more as a learning experience and understanding what loudspeaker projects are about how they work what's happening uh, that's what this project is so i hope everyone had a wonderful amazing start for the new year and uh, you can start now <laughs> thinking about the build and we'll continue from here bye bye